I'm Pastor David Ballard, and I'd like to welcome you to another segment of Bethel's Bread. Today we'll be in the book of Nehemiah chapter 6. Nehemiah chapter 6. The title of the lesson today is Don't Come Down, Nehemiah chapter 6, and I'm going to read to you verses 1 through 3. Now it came to pass when Sanballat and Tobiah and Geshem the Arabian and the rest of our enemies heard that I had builded the wall and that there was no breach left therein, though at that time I had not set up the doors upon the gates, that Sanballat and Geshem sent unto me, saying, Come, let us meet together in some one of the villages in the plain of Ono, but they thought to do me mischief. And I sent messengers unto them, saying, I am doing a great work, so that I cannot come down. Why should the work cease whilst I leave it and come down to you? It's interesting. This We've been studying a little bit in Nehemiah in the last couple of these, and this is when the wall is finally built. The breaches are repaired. The wall is back to fortified. The enemy was never able to come and do what the enemy wanted to do. It wasn't able to stop them because God would not allow it. And in this particular case, now the enemy sees that, well, perhaps this is a more formidable opponent than we thought. And these people that know Jesus Christ and these people that are working for God, boy, we can't take care of them like we thought we were going to. So now let's go ahead and talk to them. Let's see if we can get them to stop the work. Let's see if we can get them to, uh, to stop what they're doing. So perhaps then we can bring them in uh, among us and, and be able to get this work to cease. Well, Nehemiah says to them, look, this wall's rebuilt. God has done a great work here. You wouldn't help us. You were against us. And this enemy that was against us over and over said we couldn't do it. Well, the, well God did it. Uh, the enemy gave resistance, but God uh, fought back that resistance. The people showed up. They fought the battle. And the enemy gave resistance, but it didn't matter. God finished the work. God is finishing a work in you. Uh, we must go ahead and continue to do the work that God has put before us. And we must not come down. So the lesson here is don't entertain the enemy. Sometimes we go back to the life that we used to live. Sometimes I see folks fall back into the same sins they were before. Sometimes I see folks that determine that they're, you know what, I've done my work. I'm going to go back into the world. Sometimes the world is just so attractive and sometimes the enemy is so attractive uh, that they couldn't beat us face on. They couldn't get us to stop face on. So they go ahead and try to entice us to do things uh, that we wouldn't normally do. May I suggest to you this, don't stop your work. Don't stop what God has given you. Don't come down off that wall. Don't come down because you've got a great work that you're doing. And the work will stop if you leave it. The work will stop if you don't continue to work for God. It is an everyday battle. Paul said, I die daily. Why? Because he's in this battle every single day. And we must realize that we are in a battle every day. And we can't stop because if we stop, the work's going to stop. And if the work stops then we're in the situation that we're in today in this country because the Christians stopped their work. We lost some of this country, and I'm going to tell you we're going to have to fight to get it back. I hope and pray that you realize the work that you're doing in front of your family, in front of your friends, even those that don't like you, this work cannot cease. Don't let it stop. Don't come down off that wall of work. You keep going. God's using you in a great way. Let God continue to do just that. I hope this blesses you today. I'm Pastor David Baller with another segment of Bethel's Bread. I hope you have a great day. God bless you.